Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started. Now that we already have our solution to start learning Power Automate, let's create our first flow to understand a little bit better the interface. Inside the solution, I'm going to go to New, Automation, Cloudflow, and select Instant. It, that's the flow that we can run manually. So let's click on it. And now it's going to show the interface to start creating my flow, where I can give the flow name and select what's the trigger. That means what's going to start the flow execution. If you don't have a solution, you can create the same flow going to our Power Automate interface and select go to create and click on instant cloud flow. This will give us the very same interface. Now going back to the one inside the solution, I'm going to select manually trigger a flow. See, we can start with other things also. For example, from Power Apps, from Aquapilot, from Dataverse, from a message on Teams and so on. In this case, it's the manual one, and we can give a name to the flow. Usually I like to put square brackets in the beginning and type, for example, manual, just to identify the type of flow. And then I'm going to give a name, let's say first flow, and I'm going to click on create. Then it's going to open the interface to continue editing the flow. As you can see, this is the old interface. Soon a new interface will appear here, but right now it is still creating with the old interface. So here we have the trigger, as we saw in the lessons, that's what's going to start the flow, and in this case it's a manual trigger, meaning that I have to go and run the flow, and then we can add a new step that are the actions. I can start adding steps. Once I click on new step, I see all the connectors in here. I can see all where I can find all the connectors, and here we have all the actions. If I click on see more, it's going to expand and show more and more. But we have also categories here. For example, built-in, that are actions that are inside the Power Automate, such as data operations or date and time operations. We have standards, that are the standard connectors that don't add an extra licensing to the flow. They are already in the cost of the Power Automate license that's included in your office license. Here we have, for example, Excel, Teams, Notifications, SharePoint, Planner, OneDrive, and so on. A lot of things in here. And then we have the premium ones that need an extra license to run the flow. Usually those are connections with third-party services and also databases. We have custom connectors, that's something you can create if you have an API or something that you can connect, but there is not a connector for that, you can create your own custom connector. That's a different area of the platform to create that, and we are not covering here, but keep in mind that you can build that. And then I also have my clipboard that's used when I want to copy actions inside the flow. I can duplicate actions using the copy and pastes. Right now, just to be able to save the flow, we need to add any operation here. And I'm going to go to built in, select schedule, and select the delay action. Or we can just search. Here we specify a number, that's the count of units to delay. In this case, let me put 5, and then select seconds. So this means that this action will take 5 seconds to finish and then the next action, if we add a new step, will execute after 5 seconds. I just added to be able to save. Now I can save, otherwise it will complain and not let us save our flow. Once it's saved, I can then test my flow. Of course this flow doesn't do anything useful, but we can test. If you are doing your own flow, you can test going to the test button. Then select manually, just to run the flow. If you already had previous runs, we can select automatically and use a previous run to run with the same parameters. If we had a flow that has input parameters or runs on certain conditions. But let's select manually, click on tests. And then again, 
we need to click on run flow. Then the flow is going to start running and we can see its execution. See the flow is running, it's triggered and then it's delayed 5 seconds and finished. As you can see, your flow runs successfully. And then we could continue editing the flow. But now let's click on this button to return to the previous page. Now inside the solution, if you don't have a solution, you can go to the Power Automate interface and click on My Flows. It should appear here. My first flow, it's in here. Back to the solution, now if I click in the flow name, we are going to go to the flow page where we can see details about this flow. We can see the connections the flow uses, we can see who are the owners and we can share with others so they can also edit the flow. We can see flow run trends once the flow starts running. You can see some information here and other information about the flow. We have several actions here in the top. We can edit, share, save, delete, run, send a copy to someone, export, and even turn off the flow. In case you created a flow that runs automatically, you can turn on and off to disable the flow. And here we can see what are the past executions. If I want to see a specific execution, I can just come here and click on it. It will take us to the flow run and we can see all the steps that run. One curious thing is that now the interface is the new interface. See, now we have the new view and I can disable and come back to the old view, but let's keep on the new view. Here some details change, but I think that this view is going to be better than the old view for who is learning and they are improving the features. Now I can see the flow run, clicking on each action to see the details here about each action, and I can keep editing. If I click on edit, then I'm going to go to the editing interface, and here is the new version. I can add more actions, clicking here. Now the actions pane appears in the sides, and I can select any of the actions here. For example, we can add a Compose, that's just something to write code to it and see the inputs and outputs. For example, I can just type something here, tests. And then I can use the outputs of this compose to the next actions. But don't worry, we are going to see this in details in the next lessons. I'm just showing the difference between this interface and the other. Now that I added a new action, since this is the new interface, we can save it as a draft. And while we don't publish, the flow that's currently active won't run this until I publish it. But if I want to test, then I need to publish. Once I click on test here in this interface, it will publish the flow for us to test. And here in the new interface, we also have the copilot feature where we can request changes in the flow. We can type things for the AI agents to modify our flow. We are not going to use that because we need to learn the basics and learn how to build the steps to understand how the Power Automate flow behaves. So in the future, when you want to edit something, you know why things are happening. Let's click on tests for this one, just to see it running again using the new interface. We have now automatically enabled and we can use the same run as before. For this one, doesn't make a difference, so let's click on tests. Now the flow is running again. It's going to delay for five seconds and then execute the next action, that's the compose, that just has tests written on it. Given this, you already know how the interface looks like and how to create your first flow. In the next lessons, we are going to start creating real flows from scratch. See you in there. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.